Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. I have a finished journal. Um, this one's not for, or this one's already been sold, but I will be making two more with the the blue velvet. This one is Tori. She is a um, traveler's notebook style, nine by four and a half, and I use some a piece of old um, blue velvet that I had. Oh, it's so soft and squishy. There's about, oh dear, 80-something pages in here. It's full. It's got a lot of vintage lace and some alpaca fiber that's soft because it's kind of, it's a holiday one and some seam binding closure, blue and white. And Tori is a young girl in the 1860s who collected everything. She loved to collect things. So she would collect things, put them in a box under her bed, and she decided one day as the box just overfilled that she was going to make herself her own book. So she was going to make like a junk journal. So she, the cover has some vintage wedding dress. This would have been her aunt. As her aunt was getting married, she backed into a thorn bush, and when she walked away, a piece of the... The wedding dress ripped, so Tori ran over there and grabbed some of the lace and put it in her dress pocket. And this beautiful trim, this is a vintage trim. This would came, again, this is all in my mind. This came from Tori's cousin who was in the barn with her bow, and they were giggling and laughing, and she backed into a pitchfork. And it ripped her dress, and she ran out of there crying, and Tori ran over there again, and... Get in a little more and got another piece of lace. So she collected the lace from all over the household. There's some music paper, and when she was doing this, she got so upset because she was doing it by candlelight and the candle wax dripped. But then she realized how nice it looked, so which is really beeswax there and down here. So as we go in. We got the story begins with a tag. This is a uh, envelope that I made. I had an old bank envelope and I just took it apart and made a template. And so now I have my own envelopes. And that just goes into the bag that I decorated up. There's already maize, there's nectar creations, there's tsunami rose, there's little of everything. This is a layaway tag that I did get from Denise's shop, Tattered Dream, and I just um, put some script writing on it and a little paste, modeling paste. And I made a little booklet. And there's this is um, Nectar Creation, her Christmas one. And I did a lot of the scrap, uh, script stamping of a Christmas stamp I have. And here's a little booklet of a rocking horse that maybe Tori would have got for Christmas. A little burlap she got from the cookhouse from the flower sack. And this was part the blue velvet dress her mama had made her for her 16th birthday. And it was blue velvet and then she had this pretty blue lace over it with white trim. It was a Christmas dress. And some, a little bag with some snowflakes and lace of a tablecloth that Tori liked. And it caught on fire from a candle, so they tried to salvage some, so she grabbed that. And that was just a little flip out. And this is some school paper. Tori loved Christmas, so there's a little calendar. And just a little... Um, Nectar creation and some trim. And Tori liked birds. And there's a little place to put some, some more of her collection. And this was another piece of wedding dress that um, Tori had gotten. And then there's a little bag of her sisters. She had like six sisters and brothers. And there's a time sheet. A little ticket a lot of buttons mama made everybody's clothes so the buttons were all over the place and there's another piece of that tablecloth there's her brother and sister 
And there's Chris's this is Tsunami Rose file folder. My hands aren't working. And some more of that script stamp. And more buttons. And there's a little Santa peeking out, ledger paper. And these would be mom and papa's friends that would come over for a Christmas party. And they'd be coming in all dressed up in their ball gowns. Oh, I'm, I was definitely born in the wrong time. Of course, I probably wouldn't have lived past 30, but. And some script things. A uh, little booklet. Some lace that looked like snowflakes. This is another part of um, Tori's favorite Sweet 16 dress. And there's some parchment paper. And this is another little just a index card and some more of the um, sepia color uh, nectar creations. This is a piece of burlap that Tori found in the barn. So she hoarded that. And another little Santa envelope, St. Nick. And a bird envelope. And then there's just a note card. I did a lot of lot I had a lot of old ledger paper and I just inked it up, stamped it. To make nice list. Some more pretty crocheted um, trim and little tags. Coal. Lovely soft colors. This is some couple little tags here. And the ho 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 in there, if you can see them. Little tuck spot and then just a Piece of ledger paper. I'm just washing dishes in my hands. And there is a lot of writing in here. And then there's some note paper. A little t Tory riding a little horse. And there's some more of a another dress that her mama made her. And some birds, a little tuck spot here and there. This is where Tori would put a picture of her beloved. And then there's just a little, kind of like a map. And just a lot of writing paper. And then that just flips out. More trim. I just kind of paper clip that. And just ephemera. I don't want to run out of time little envelope that I made and just and it tucks under the snowflake punch more burlap from the barn and another uh, glassine envelope a little deer vintage quality in there quant quality and another tag in a packet that goes up <clears throat> and there's a little Tori again there's a bunch of postcards with birds and lace and a little pretty snowflake trim. Another little envelope, glassing bag, postcard, and some note paper with a blue bird. Picture perfect Christmas. Another little envelope with a snowflake. This goes under to close it. That goes in there. And then a little pocket, and then under here is a secret little tuck spot that Tori can put some papers in. And there's some pretty trim. It's very soft. And that is my blue velvet vintage Tori junk journal. And I will be probably making two more. I think I have enough blue velvet for two more. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Keep crafting. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you soon.